First and foremost, we're here uh, with Vim Janssen very much in mind. There's some great pictures and great memories for Vim here at Celtic Park. What's your memories of him? Obviously, stopping the 10. Peter, a uh, really significant season in the club's history. I was just speaking to a couple of the guys there. What a footprint to leave on the club. Uh, for a guy who was only here for one season, but some marvellous memories. And most people talk about managers that are successful, they don't flood a footballer's mind with tactics. Less is more seem to be Vim's ethos. Yeah, right from the minute he came in, you know, you hear about the Dutch and the Dutch philosophy of trying to play football, he was very much cut for that cloth. Uh, I remember pre-season, you know, when he came in, it was all with the ball from the start. I thoroughly enjoyed the training sessions. I think he was really good with man management as well throughout that season. And it's only now when you kind of look back at the, you appreciate the pressure that the guy was under as well that year, you know, to, to stop uh, or preserve the Lisbon Lions record of nine in a row. So, yeah, you take your hats off to him. But some wonderful memories, some great pictures in his book there, Maradona and Cruyff. So the guy did it all. And strangely enough, he's... He's inextricably linked, of course, to Celtic when he played in that Feyenoord side. <clears throat> you just forget how good a player he was at club and international level. You do, you do. The guy played in two World Cup finals. You know, it's not to be sniffed at and uh, won the European Cup against Celtic in the San Siro uh, a few years after Celtic had obviously won it. So, you know, he's, he was already kind of linked to the club if you like, before he came here, but what a season he had. Yeah, um, just as far as um, Celtic are concerned now, I'm sure Vim would <coughs> love the Knights. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't the win that everybody hoped for, but it is the European champions. Do you think Ange is, everybody was critical of him with this plan A, but do you think that plan A can reap rewards in this group? I think so. I think so. I, I was really impressed with the way Celtic went about their business for the first half the other night. They're playing against world-class players. They really took the game to Real Madrid, created a right good few chances uh, on another night Callum McGregor's shot goes in but I think if they approach the rest of the games in this group it's a big game coming up on Wednesday an important game against Shakhtar but I think if they approach it the same way I think they'll get points Do you think there's an element of surprise around everybody about Shakhtar and yes because people thought maybe they'd be affected by what's happening in the country but to win it away against yeah. Leipzig Hell of a result really was it just shows you the level of the quality uh, in this Champions League, you know, there's there's no mugs and it'll be a difficult game, it'll just be as difficult as, as the other night, Celtic will have to be at it, hopefully take their chances, but with this team, I've covered a lot of Celtic's games, they're growing game by game, you know, they've got off to a great start domestically and I think they'll get points, uh, but this will be a difficult one Wednesday, they'll need to be at it. Yeah, uh, and just on the, the point of the plan and the way he goes about his business with his team, I think it's naive at times for people to think that it's just plan A, because Celtic knew they weren't going to have the ball for great periods of time. They seem to actually then be well aware of the manager's instruction to try and keep everything tight at the back. Yeah, they've got good shape. You know, they were criticised at the start of last season with their defence. That grew and it ended up being the best defence domestically in the country. And I think these boys have grown from their experiences in Europe last year as well. I think they're a year down the line playing with each other. That only helps. I think he's recruited well again. Uh, Haxa Barner, which I think will be a, a big player for Celtic in a few weeks coming up. Uh, so I just see Celtic growing stronger game by game. Can you see anyone stopping them domestically? No, I don't. I think Rangers are weaker. So... They've lost a couple of big players for them. Uh, Morelos obviously not fit. And as I say, I think uh, Celtic have got stronger. I think the confidence is there just now. They're scoring goals from everywhere. They look very strong. And just finally on that, assessing the group, obviously we'll get a better flavour of the other two teams once Celtic play them. <coughs> but on the evidence of what you witnessed against Real Madrid, what do you think the best hope for Celtic is in this group? I think second place is well within their reach. You, you've got the... Uh, insurance if you like a third place for the Europa League but I think they'll be looking to try and get out this group I think the two home games here they have to go and win I think they're capable of doing that and then pick something up against the likes of Leipzig and Shakhtar away starting on Wednesday Hi if you enjoyed this content please subscribe to the PLZ Soccer YouTube channel